It is the 10th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight by addressing some drama that ensued uh, late last night with Dutch Sense. Uh, let's just say we've agreed to disagree, and I will be sending the Geiger counters back to his channel, uh, COD upon his request, um, my donation to you, and um, we're just going to drop it at that. So, good luck with everything, Dutch. Have a nice life. Off to Scott.net. Uh, let's get started. U.S. torrential rain causes flash floodings in Houston. Dallas, severe weather hit the Houston area on Monday, flooding streets and homes and leaving thousands of people without power. Uh, torrential rain fell across the area, causing flash flooding and theft streets and highways impassable and submerged some vehicles. And they have a lot of roadways closed and, uh, of course, uh, heavy rain. They said they had 7,000 people without power in the county. Russian city is livid after toddler lost in urban sinkhole. Apparently a young mother was walking her uh, son, a year and a half old, and uh, the, gr the ground fell out beneath them. She was able to catch herself and was rescued by her husband, uh, but they couldn't save the child. And uh, people are pretty upset about the, the lack of infrastructure. And uh, Arizona earthquake rattles Winslow near dormant volcanoes. Uh, the U.S. Geological Survey recorded a magnitude 3.1 earthquake in Arizona Sunday afternoon, according to the USGS. Uh, the quake hit at 12.11 p.m., about 21 miles southwest of Winslow and about 113 miles northwest of Phoenix. Uh, with a depth of just over 3 miles, uh, it was relatively shallow, so it was felt by a lot of people. Santa Cruz Islands had a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake yesterday, uh, depth 38.9 kilometers, no tsunamis. And about that mass herring death mystery in Norway, I remember the 20 tons that covered the beach, scientists have yet to agree on why thousands of dead herring washed up, washed up on a Norwegian beach in the last week. Officials say piles of dead herring weighing in excess of 20 tons have covered a beach near northern uh, city. This event has prompted various scientific explanations as well as speculation from the 2012 doomsday enthusiasts, of course. And then I was um, reading a lot of comments about how um, is either oxygen deprivation or um, some fishermen dumped because they went over quota. Uh, Alaska town tries to dig out from a huge snow drop. Dump. They got over 18 feet of snow uh, in Cordova in the past weeks, and uh, they got some videos out of people walking over the cars and just massive snow drifts. Of course, you know some roofs collapsed, people were trapped in their houses, that kind of thing. Northern, uh, what's that tick disease? And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the extinction pro protocol. Eight killed in landslide in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. A uh, landslide triggered by torrential rains killed at least eight people in Rio de Janeiro, uh, and 14 others may be st still be buried in the rubble, local officials told the television. Activities increase in Nicaragua's um, Masaya volcano, and uh, yeah, they got the war drums beaten. Syria inches closer to civil war as region of violent terror escalates. And uh, this is all staged and propaganda. And uh, weather takes another bizarre turn, dropping extreme weather conditions in select portions of the globe. And they have the Alaska snow uh, story. Austria paralyzed by heavy snowfall. Uh, they set up to 60 centimeters or 23 inches of snow fell overnight on Monday and the risk of avalanches was high. Uh, 140 people die in India from the cold. A cold wave continues to spread havoc in northern India with disease, dense fog, and low visibility hitting normal life, disrupting movement of trains and flight operations in most parts of the region. And this has been ongoing for quite a while in India. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, of course, they got the flash flooding going on in Brazil. 
Uh, we got uh, flash flooding in Australia, the state of Western Australia. Um, they're saying um, it's just torrential rains. They got another 48 hours of rains coming, and um, all that that entails. They're just having a heck of a time in Australia. Power outage in uh, the state of Texas due to their severe storms, uh, the one out of Houston. Uh, the heat wave in Australia and the Queensland on the Gold Coast, they're saying uh, the temperatures got as high as 39 degrees Celsius. And to, uh, you know, limit your sun exposure and heat index and all that stuff. Uh, the drought in Argentina that's coming up on the grid uh, with the, the crop loss, the corn and soybeans, and um, they're having problems. And uh, tornado reports coming out of that storm out of Texas, Texas City. Snowstorm reports out of Bulgaria. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff, e, &E News. A uh, Japan journalist, I feel people's brain damage from radiation is happening faster than we ever expected. Fukushima Diani on March 12th, seriously injured workers still trapped in a crane operating council of exhaust stack. Breathing and pulse cannot be confirmed. These are uh, emails that were coming out of right at the disaster. NRC FOIA, WTF, when reactor blew up, it looked like a, contain like a containment building disappearing in an explosive cloud. And that was from a March 12th email. Problems continue to emerge at troubled Fort Calhoun. Now worse than worst grade a reactor can have and still operate. Plus, cause of fire that knocked out spent fuel pool cooling this summer remains unknown. And that's the one out of um, Nebraska, just north of Omaha, um, that, was, that was, had the severe flooding uh, last year. And then we had all the alerts on. Neurobiologist, could Fukushima produce bacteria resistant to antibiotics? Radiation is a sure way, sure way to stimulate mutations, and that is an understatement. Uh, we got Godzilla to look forward to. And, of course, it goes on and on uh, with several other stories going on. That's about all I have for you uh, news-wise tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, I do remind you that I do this for free. Um, there is no donations on this channel. Um, you are more than free to follow these links on your own every day. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm doing this, and uh, that's just the way it is. So, enjoy while you can, everybody. Um, sorry about all the drama. It was not my intent to create that. Um, I will see you later.